Look here guys, I'm using my tablet as an external monitor for my Windows PC by using a free app. I can extend my display, interact with Windows by touch, and it works flawlessly. I am using Windows 11 PC, but this can also work with Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. So let's get started. Open your browser, and let's go to spacedisk.net. I left the link down in the descriptions. Once at this page, scroll down to install Space Disk Driver Console for your primary PC or laptop. Now most new computers are 64-bit. I have a 64-bit Windows 11 PC, but this also works with Windows 10 and Windows 8.1. Since I have 64-bit Windows 11 PC, I'll be clicking on this link. And it should start downloading to your download folder. Once the download is complete, let's open the downloaded file and let's go through the installation process. Click next and accept the terms. It will add an exception for space disk in your antivirus or Windows firewall. Click next and finally finish. Once installed, let's find space disk in your program files and open it. Once that's done, now let's move on to your tablet or iPad. Let's go to the Play Store on your tablet or the Apple Store on your iPad and search for Space Disk. Once you find it, install it. Once the app is installed, open it. It will remind you to install the Space Disk driver console on your PC, which you've already done. And here, make sure to turn off the LAN or Wi-Fi connection option if you want to use the cable connection like me. Otherwise, leave it on to connect wirelessly. Plug one end of your USB cable into the PC and the other one into the tablet. Swipe down on your tablet and select USB file transfer. And make sure it's set to transferring files. Now let's go back to your PC and go to the Space Disk Driver Console and select USB Cable Driver Android. And from the right menu, uncheck Local Area Network and check USB Cable Android. Go back to the tablet and reconnect the cable if it doesn't connect straight away. And confirm by selecting Yes to open Space Disk to handle the USB connections. All right, as you can see here, we're connected now. We just need to reposition our tablet display. So let's right click on the desktop background and select display settings. And arrange your display to your preference. Now my tablet is below my main monitor. So I'll just move it below and close the settings. And now you can drag windows between your displays, bring down your browser, and the touch screen on your tablet should work too. If you play a video and move it to your tablet, it will use the tablet speakers. However, you can change that to use your desktop speakers. You could right click on the sound icon on the taskbar and switch it to your monitor speakers. Alright, and that was how easy it is to set up your tablet or iPad as an external monitor. I hope that was useful. If it was, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye for now.